2% cashback credit cards, the card everyone should have in their wallet. So I don't care if you generally want to get points to travel for free or you're looking for as much cashback as possible, there are going to be times when having a 2% cashback credit card is going to be beneficial. So for any of the cards that have high cashback or high points, they're going to be for certain categories, not for all of your spending. So the thing is, if something doesn't fit in one of those categories, generally the points cards are going to give you one point per dollar and the cashback cards will only give you 1% cash back. So having a 2% cash back card as a fallback for anything that doesn't fit into a high category can be really helpful. Also, if you only wanna carry around one credit card in your wallet, having a 2% cash back card can be really, really easy. So you don't have to think about using different cards. You just know, no matter what I purchase, I'm gonna get 2% of that back. So I found five different credit cards that'll give you 2% cash back and have no annual fee. And at the end of the video, I have three other cards that give you higher cash back, but only in certain categories. If you want more information about any of the cards, check out the description below. With that said, let's get into it. The first card we'll talk about today is the SoFi credit card. So this is the card that I currently have in my wallet because it's really, really easy to take the 2% that I'm earning on my purchases and get it into an investment account. So for me, as opposed to just lowering my statement balance, or using the money to go out and purchase other things, I wanna take the 2% cash back and invest that money. So the SoFi credit card lets me do that really, really easily given that I have a SoFi money account and a SoFi invest account. The thing is, if you wanna use this just to lower your statement balance or send to a different bank account, you only get 1% cash back. So it only makes sense if you have other SoFi products. Also, this card doesn't have a 0% intro period or some type of cash back that you get after a certain amount of spending when you first get the card. It's just 2% on everything, but you'll see some of the other cards as we talk about later have some other bonuses. The second card we're gonna talk about today is the Fidelity Rewards Visa Signature. So this card is very, very similar to the SoFi card where you get 2% cash back and you could add it to one of your Fidelity accounts. So you can see down below, unlimited 2% cash back. Scrolling down a little bit further, you'll see that you can deposit it into a brokerage account, cash management account, 529 college savings plan. You can help save for your kid's education with the 2% of your spending. You can add it to a charitable giving account or your HSA. So the third card we'll talk about is the Wells Fargo Active Cash Card. So this has a couple of other benefits besides just a 2% cash back and no annual fee. So you'll see after spending $1,000, you get $200 cash back. So to get $200 cash back on the previous two cards, you'd have to spend an additional $10,000. And on top of that, you have 0% APR for 15 months on both purchases and qualifying balance transfers. Card number four on my list is the City Double Cash Card. So this card is a little bit different than the previous ones where you get 1% cash back when you make the purchase and then another 1% as you pay off the card. This card also comes with a 0% APR for 18 months, but it's only on balance transfers. Card number five is the PayPal Cashback MasterCard. Another card, 2% cash back, no annual fee, no other perks. Now let's move on to a few cards that have higher cash back, but in specific categories. If you have high spending in the areas we talk about, these cards might be worth checking out. The first card we're gonna talk about is the Amex Blue Cash Preferred card. So this card is a little bit different than some of the previous ones where it does have an annual fee of $95, but it's waived in the first year. This card also comes with $300 initial cash back, but you need to spend $3,000 in the first six months. So if you don't normally put $500 a month on a credit card, this card might not be for you as far as for getting the upfront bonus. Beyond that, some of the benefits of the card is 6% cash back on groceries up to $6,000. So that works out to about $115 a week. If you're spending that, you can get 6% cash back up to the 6K. So 6,000 times 6% is $360. So if you spend that much money just on groceries, the annual fee is already paid for. Some of the other high cash back categories are for streaming, for transit, as well as on gas. So if these are areas where you spend a lot of money, this card might be for you. As we move on beyond that, anything else you purchase with this card is just 1% cash back. There's also $120 credit with Equinox Plus. So if you work out at home with Equinox Plus, you can get 10 bucks back each month. The next card is the City Custom Cash Card. So this card, after just $750 of spending in the first three months, you can get $200 back. The card also comes with a 0% APR for the first 15 months on both purchases and balance transfers. This card is a little bit different than some of the other ones where basically the top spending category, you get 5% cash back up to $500 a month. So you can see down here what some of the different categories are. So you have restaurants, gas stations, grocery stores, select travel, select transit, select streaming service, drug stores, home improvement stores, fitness clubs, live entertainment. So there's one of those categories where you have high spending, hopefully close to $500 a month, you can get the max cash back of $500 times 5%. Then anything else you purchase with this card would be at 1% cash back. 
The next card on my list is the Discover It Cashback Credit Card. So with this card, you can also get up to 5% cash back in certain categories. But the thing is, these categories change per quarter. So January to March is one, April to June is another, etc. So the thing is, you get $1,500 of spending per category per quarter. So it's kind of the same where it's $500 per month. It's the same kind of total amount that you could get cash back. But the thing is, with this card is you can't kind of plan on the spending of, hey, I know I spend $500 a month at grocery stores and I can get that 5% cash back. You're gonna see down below the different categories. So you can see as we close out the year, you can get 5% cash back at amazon.com, walmart.com, and target.com until the end of the year, 2021. And then in 2022, into March, you get grocery stores, fitness clubs, gym memberships, April to June, gas stations and Target. July to September is restaurants and PayPal. October to December is Amazon and digital wallets. The other benefit here is if we scroll back up is in year one, you essentially get double the cash back. So whatever cash back you earned in the first 12 months, you get that tacked on again at the end of the year. So that's a nice bonus for everything you spent in the first year. So I have a bonus card for you, the crypto.com debit card. So if you're interested in investing in cryptocurrencies, you can get your cash back as cryptocurrency. So how this card works, it's a little bit different is essentially you get different cash back amounts depending on how much you invest in crypto.com's cryptocurrency. So depending on how much you'd invested with them. So if you have nothing invested, you can get 1% cash back on their card. If you have $400, which is the card that I'm gonna be getting, you get 2% cash back and you also get free Spotify. So you get $13 a month, essentially taken off your bill if you're using Spotify premium. And then you can see your cash back jumps up if you're putting larger amounts in. You know, I don't see myself putting 400 grand get 8% cash back, but it's something we're checking out. So this card is much different than all the other ones we talked about today, but I thought some of you might find it interesting. If you wanna learn more about any of the cards we talk about today, check out the description below. Also, which of these cards are you interested in getting? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you wanna see some of our other credit card videos, check out the playlist up above. If you're looking to improve your credit score, we have a playlist for that. I'll link to those videos down below. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye.